is here for building your schedule for the coming academic year. This video will give you some reminders on how you can build your schedule in advance of your registration date to allow you to register right away on your assigned date. It also will walk you through some changes to the registration system for this year. To get started, you will want to make sure you view your course catalog found on our website and your academic plan to identify the classes that you will search for. When ready to then build your schedule, log into the portal at my.cuaa.edu and go to the Student tab. Click on the Student tab and scroll to the Quick Links box. And within the Quick Links box, you will want to click on Register for Classes. When in this page, you want to click Browse Classes, and then you'll be able to pick the term for which you want to browse classes. Starting with your Fall 2022 schedules recommended, and then continuing on to build your spring schedule as well as Winterum if you plan to take any Winterum classes. When you're in the fall of 2022 menu, you will make your search most effective by utilizing our advanced search menu. The advanced search allows you to filter classes by campus where you can ensure you're only looking at classes that you will be able to add. As a reminder of the filters that you want to utilize and to introduce you to some new filters this year, I'm going to walk you through a couple of the different classifications under which you'll find classes. Ann Arbor grad undergraduate is one of the most common filters under which you'll find your classes. When you have this filter on, it guarantees that you only see the classes that will run in person on our campus. It will give you the dates of the week and the timeframes in which the class meets, if you were to click on the description, it gives you the CRN number. That number is what you want to make sure you're writing down, along with the details of each class that you map out so that you can register really quickly on your assigned registration date. The CRN is the way in which you'll want to utilize um, registering for classes when your date does roll around. So be sure to note that CRN, the details of the class, and to pay careful attention to the time frame when you're under our Ann Arbor undergraduate campus filter. Outside of that in-person filter, we also have classes that run online. You'll find those under a couple of different categories. You can search under online Ann Arbor undergraduate where you will see only one class that runs under that filter, but if that's a class that you need, you could take that. You'll find most online classes under the online MECWAN undergraduate filter. Those are classes that are available for all Concordia students. When looking at those online classes, it's really important that you pay careful attention to the start and end date as these classes do not always run the full semester. Some do run for 16 weeks, others run for eight, and sometimes others might run for only six. So you wanna carefully note the start and end date of the class that you're looking at adding. For an online class, these classes do not meet in person and they do not meet via Zoom. They only meet by you logging into Blackboard and completing the work on your own and submitting it by the necessary deadlines for the online department. There are strict attendance policies that you do need to monitor for, but these classes do not have a specific meeting time within um, your regular standard week. So you would want to be careful to note that and to ensure that you have really good time management for holding yourself accountable for attending these classes and doing the work at your own pace, but also in line with the attendance policies of the online department. The other filter that I wanna introduce you to, which is new this year, is separate from our campus filter. And it is found under buildings. If you go to this buildings feature, you can type in virtual and you will see classes that are taking place virtually. This means these classes are meeting via Zoom. An instructor will host class at the time frame you see listed for the day of the week, but you do need to pay careful attention to the timing of these classes. Virtual classes are all housed in central time whether they're taught by Ann Arbor or Mequon faculty, because they host students on both campuses, these classes are in the system based on the central time zone, which means as an Ann Arbor student, the time for you for these classes is actually one hour ahead of what you see. 
Here we see a class that would meet from 6.30 to 9.30, but that's central time. So for you, it would really be a 7.30 to 10.30 class. And when you're looking at these classes, you will need to manually adjust the time, knowing that you're in the Eastern time zone in Michigan and that your class would actually be meeting an hour ahead of the time that you see listed here. These classes are open to you when they're undergraduate courses and you can add them. It should not give you any issues with that. But again, you do need to carefully monitor that you're adding um, an hour onto the time frame that you see for any virtual undergraduate offering. When you simply filter by virtual building, um, graduate classes are included in this listing as well. So make sure you carefully monitor that when you click on the class, you see it listed as an undergraduate class. And while it's listed as Mequon undergraduate, since it is virtual, it is open to students on the Ann Arbor and the Mequon campus. So this adds on options by which you can find classes in the coming year. Sometimes you may find this is the primary format that a class you need is offered in. So make sure you add searching with that building um, feature into the way in which you conduct your search. Make sure every time you're looking at classes, you note those CRN numbers. And as you build out your schedule, if you run into any questions or concerns, needing to navigate how to work around time conflicts or any of those pieces, you always can reach out to your academic advisor for assistance. And the main reason this is important and important to do so right now is registration will open the week of April 4th and you want to already have planned out your classes so that you can register right away on your assigned registration date.